Hello again, and this time we're looking at publishing print books with Affinity Publisher and KDP templates. Print books that is for publishing through KDP and using their templates. Now crafted content books with KDP slightly different than the low content books we looked at last time. Slightly different? Well, only because these ones actually have a little bit of content. Now I'm not going into the content with this, rather I'm going into the steps again of publishing for print, which is quite different than publishing for um, a reader or um, publishing on the, on the Kindle platform. Forget Kindle, we're looking at print. Now KDP body template sizes show as follows. Now you've got the page size without bleed and the page size with bleed. And you can see there they're separated. Let's look just at the first two here. 5 by 8 is without bleed and 5.125 by 8.25 is, is the one with bleed. Now it makes a difference because we don't have any other option in Publisher than to export to, K, uh, to PDF for publishing. Now, as fate would have it, KDP happily accepts PDF files, but you have to have the bleed in your document. You can't see, if you submit a document without bleed, you'll end up with all sorts of problems and they'll reject it. So just take it as read, use the bleed. And you can pick all sorts of sizes there for all sorts of books. Too nice. Now the KDP cover template sizes. The cover trim size match your selected book size. It's always the trim size. So if you choose your cover template, 5x8 for example, and the one I'm going to use is actually 3 down from that, 5.5x8.5. No matter. That one's highlighted, and if that was the one you're using, then just take it that that's your trim size. That's not your book with the bleed, that's your book without the bleed. But remember, with the PDF file, you're going to add bleed to that, which is 5.25 by 8.25. Of course, bleed, you've got the left and the right, they're 0.125. Top and bottom, each 0.125. We'll come to that. I'm jumping ahead. Now, 5.5 by 8.5, as I mentioned, is the one I'm going to use. 60 pages, white paper. And you can see when you're in KDP, that's what comes up. I've selected 5.5 by 8.5. My page count is 60. And it's on white paper. Now, there's a big note. The page count is the number of sheets of paper, not the number of pages you've written. Your novel might be 186,000 pages. Hmm, might be a bit much, but you might have, let's see, I don't know, what's a good size novel? 800 pages? Easy to do the math. You've got 800 pages on your word processor, but what you've got in physical pages is 400. So for this, template, your page count would be 400. It's a sheet of paper, it's got a page on either side. Remember this when you create your publisher file, otherwise you'll end up with a book that's way too thick and it will collapse on the spine. Now I've got 60 pages of white paper. The template, complete with spine, is what I've downloaded. With a book of less than 100 physical pages, no spine text area is available. In every case with spine text, in any case, there must be at least 0.625 inches or 1.6 millimeters space either side so that it doesn't wrap onto the front or back cover. Now I can't show you that here because there is no spine. The book's too thin. Bleed. Create publisher documents. <coughs> publisher document master. In Affinity, you add your bleed in the setup page. KDP won't accept PDF submissions with no bleed. For example, your book trim size is 5.5, and in setup, you add a bleed of 0 
on all three outsides and zero on the inner because the inner is where the fold is. You don't have a bleed there, it won't be cut. Standard for KDP. Create a preset in, <coughs> in Publisher. Excuse me, coughing a bit here. Now you can see my preset if you read through that. I've got KDP number 3 print. 5.5, 8.5, 300, it's in inches. Now the number of pages I've got, this is where you're going to get confused, <coughs> excuse me, because the number of pages <coughs> you're going to print on are 120. Not physical sheets of paper, but 120 pages. And if you look at that, half of that is 60. That's the number of pages I've got in my uh, for my uh, KDP cover. Now, default master for <coughs> facing pages, horizontal arrangement, start on the right, the colour is CMYK, include the margins, the inner is 0 0.75, remember you want it moved out from the inner edge a little bit, otherwise text and things can get lost in the fold of the book, lost in the gutter. The outside margins are all 0.5. The bleed, zero in the middle again, and the outers are all 0 0.125. So left and right edges will be 0 0.125. Inner edges, of course, no bleed. You don't need to worry about that. I've got them listed there as well. Okay, there's your new manuscript document. The cover document is in a separate file. You must use two files, as KDP expects two files to be uploaded. So this is the content or manuscript document, ready for content. Now we create the cover document based on the downloaded cover template from KDP. So, number one, manuscript or content document. And we've got it there, KDP3 print. And number two document is the cover. Create content or manuscript, creating our content or manuscript document. With the manuscript document already created, we can start adding content. And for this exercise, I'm going to create a Sudoku puzzle book. The actual puzzles are created one per page with four different difficulty levels. So I created 25 puzzles for each level, three pages of answers and one title page and one separator page. So that's 30 pages per puzzle set times four sets is 120 pages. Perfect. The book will be 60 sheets thick. So the publisher document is created with 120 pages and one master page. And you can see the little calculation there. Very good. I've clicked create and got my document. Here we have a master A page and the required number of pages showing below the master page panel. Now I won't be using the master page in this example, so we can probably just hide that. Don't worry, you can always add or remove pages to the project as you need them. Now for this exercise, as I say, I've added the pages from the Sudoku content generator. And these are created as PDF files containing the pages. Perfect. Document, add pages from file, and presto. There are my Sudoku pages. The first set of document pages added, beginning page two. I don't want it on page one. That's where my cover title is. Remember, if you're adding PDF file content, make sure the text is set to editable in the preferences for importing PDF files. Otherwise, you'll be stuck and you'll have to do it again. Now, place the KDP paper back cover template onto its own layer and reduce the opacity so you can see your document through it. And you can see that I'm just looking to see if it's all the content is inside the boundaries. But wait, KDP has a trap in store for you here and I'll come to that later. Just observe where the boundaries are there. The left edge of the first Sudoku is very close to the pink and the pink doesn't get printed, remember? But it's also outside 
the margins. Now I'm not showing the margins there. I've got two guidelines to show you where the margins are and you can see that the content is well outside those margins. Now let's see what we can do about this. Make sure your margins are turned on so they display in your document. If you can't quite see it to start with, if you do it later, apply Master A to all pages and that will ensure that you can see your margins in the pages. Now obviously I've adjusted those pages, the Sudoku puzzles, so they fit inside the margins. And how did I know to do that? Because when I forgot about it and sent it to KDP, the preview said, hey you, you've forgotten to adjust your content so it fits within the margins you told us you were going to use. Ah, so there we go. Now it's in the margins and Kindle or KDP I should say, no longer complained. When you're happy with the position of your text, hide or even delete the KDP template. I chose to hide it. Maybe I'll use it later for some purpose. Who knows? Now let's do the rest. Set up the cover. Now the cover is based on the same template. I just used it in the content one to gauge the size where everything was. And you can see there, check your sizes carefully. There's a 0.14 inch spine width, so there's no spine. Forget it, you've all seen those little books that just fold over that have a couple of staples through them, there's no spine. Now the cover art. I've placed, placed a, a background rectangle over the whole thing. And I've placed my cover art as I need. Place it as you need by putting a picture frame in there. You must know how to do this by now, surely. In this case, only 60 pages, so there's no spine. Whoopee, I don't have to worry about writing and fitting a spine in. The only back matter is the white rectangle for the ISBN that you have KDP supply and a bit of an about or how to find me text down right down the bottom left hand corner there. Remember, what's on the cover has to be the same as on the inside cover. So the inside cover I've called it Sudoku 100 Puzzles with Answers. That's what I've got on the outside. If you don't have that, KDP will warn you. When happy with your cover, export it to PDF print ready. Make sure you include bleed. It's an absolute must when uploading a PDF. Now, things to watch out for, because we're nearly at the end. Make sure everything on your page fits inside the margins you specify. KDP will warn you if you don't. I'm talking about content, I'm not talking about the background picture that I had spread over the whole thing. This applies to the content as well as the cover. And the content is particularly fussy. If it's not within the margins, they will probably, uh, almost certainly, reject it. But what that means is it's rejected in preview. They don't send it back to you and say, hey, come on, fix it. They just say, we can't pass this, go back and fix it. Very friendly. Now, publishing. You can see there, take your time in steps to publishing. It's very well done and it's clear and easy to follow. You must, when you've stepped right through it, you must preview your document when you get to this stage. This part is where any problems come up. You have to fix them before you proceed. Now you can see it there, manuscripts uploaded successfully and the covers uploaded successfully for that particular job. When it uploads it says processing your file. You can't move to the next stage which is below this one to press preview until it is finished processing. Now I haven't put all those steps here because maybe I'll do a KDP publishing thing. My previous video on this same topic I went into a bit more detail. Maybe you can watch that one too. Published and reviewing. Review can take over a week, sometimes longer. So don't be impatient and start writing them letters. Just sit back, relax, have a glass of wine. And you can see there where I uploaded that, my travel journal, the paperback is in review. And occasionally they'll come back and say, Mm, you got this wrong or you got that wrong or what we really require is something like this. So go back and fix it. It's that easy.
And you can see the end results there. Now it's got start your ebook now, right in the bottom right hand corner. Well, this book is not. I mean, who wants to have a Sudoku book on a, on a Kindle? <laughs> you can't fill it in. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it.